Good morning, happy Saturday. It is about 6.30 in the morning and I'm up and at them. I guess I have my third sip of coffee with me. <clears throat> Just something. So this morning we are going to be canning cranberry juice. Another very simple, simple recipe to do. Um, it literally takes, I don't even know, maybe an hour, depending on your motivation and, you know, your routine of how to do it. It's literally cranberries and sugar. <laughs> it's that simple. Um, so, and it's a water bath method, so it's not canning, so it's a lot faster as well. Um, because you're just letting your jars in your water bath for 25 minutes on a boil. That's all you're doing. And it's that simple. And I try to do it every year. At least I have, have a couple jars on hand. Um, since it is cranberry season right now, I bought my first two pound bag of cranberries at the store yesterday. And um, I will just probably do a slow process of cranberry juice. I don't keep a lot on hand, but I do love it during the winter time. It's just so, it's so good. It's so much better than the store. Um, but like I said, it's very simple. And if you have a, you know, several hours, do a big batch and just knock it all out. Or you can do just small batch like I'm doing. I'm doing a two pound bag, so I literally may get, I don't know, I think I only put six quart jars um, in the water bath to sterilize right now. So let's go over our supply list. Of course, you're gonna need your quart jars or your pint jars. It doesn't matter whatever you're doing. You know, obviously if you're doing pint, your recipe will change a little bit. Um, and this is also a recipe that you can kind of just gauge by your own. Um, so your quart jars, right here I have my two pound bag of cranberries. I have them in water with a little bit of vinegar to clean them. So these are just kind of sitting and cleaning in some vinegar water. And I just every now and then keep just kind of moving them around. And if you, while you're moving them around, if you see any bad ones, just go ahead and take them out. Um, but yeah, just keep doing this for a few minutes, get them all coated and cleaned in that vinegar. Like that one right there is a bad one. And then we'll just throw that away. And then of course we're gonna have our sugar um just to put in the cranberries and then right here we have some just boiling water i'll have to add some more but right now this is just boiling water that we're going to dump into our jars and then over here i just have my water bather and it has my quartz in there just sterilizing them all right i went ahead and pulled a couple of my hot um, quart jars out of the water bath and now we're just gonna do our thing all right so this recipe calls for per quart so per quart um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our funnel just put it right there and then it actually calls for a cup and a quarter of cranberries per quart jar so So just like that. Sugar? Yep, then we're going to use sugar. So this recipe calls for half a cup of sugar. I don't put that much in my cranberry juice. I just maybe do a, a half of a half, you know, or just estimate what you want. Um, I don't like mine very sweet, but just enough to just give it a little bit of flavor. So I just might, you know, and you're just going to pour that right over there, just like that. take your hot water and then just fill up your jar to that one inch headspace which is at the very bottom of the lid here I'll show you what it's gonna look like here so right here is where I stop my water so 
And then we're just going to place, oops, no, sorry, we're gonna wipe our lid with a clean towel. Make sure there's no water, sugar, juice on that. And then we're just gonna put that right there. And then twist this on, just finger tight. Nothing too tight, nothing too crazy. Isn't that so pretty? Now we're just going to place all of our cranberry jars in our water bath. So now that is a rolling boil. We're just going to go up here and set our timer for 25 minutes. All right, so our timer just went off for the 25 minutes. I'm now going to turn off the heat to the water bath. I'm going to take the lid off. And the reason why I'm going to take the lid off is so the temperature changes, cools down a little bit before I take out the cranberries. So I'm going to set a timer for about five minutes and just kind of let the steam and the heat out. And then after five minutes, I will come back and take out the cranberry. All right. So our five minute timer just went off and then we're going to pull out our cranberry juice. So that's seriously it when it comes to cranberry juice. Um, now you want to leave these sit here for 12 to 44 hours untouched just so they can cool off and you want a good decent amount of space in between your jars you know so that the air can cool the jars and then once the air cools the jars you're going to start hearing the best sound in the world besides mom is ping from your jar ceiling so i will leave these here i normally leave my jars for about 24 hours um and then what um i will write the date that i made them and then i'll just put them down in our basement so it's very simple so two pounds of cranberries um i got seven quarts of cranberry juice which is i mean great and i think i probably spent i'm trying to think what the price was on the cranberries, I think it was like maybe $5.99 for a two pound bag, um, which is not bad because I think you can buy a bottle of cranberry juice for that. <laughs> and I got seven. Um, so yeah, that's so simple. It's literally, you know, the cranberries and the sugar and just hot water. And then you water bath them for 25 minutes. So I literally started my project around 6.30 this morning and it is now exactly 8.01. So an hour and a half, I was able to knock out seven you know quarts for my pantry all right guys i hope you like this video have a great day